Hi everyone, so today I'm going to take you through a few key points that we use here at the Academy to help you guys become better at receiving. Okay, so the first point that we use here and that we try and get across to our players is to check your shoulders. So this is really important for, for receiving because it enables you to decide where you're going to play before the ball comes into your feet. So a few key key points we use to, for our players is that every time a player on your team has the ball or is passing the ball that you are checking, really you can check as, as much as you want. The more that you check, the better it is because the better picture that you will have with the pitch, which means then you can make better decisions upon receiving the ball. Okay, so another key point for improving your receiving and becoming really good at, at receiving is having a good body shape. Now, good body shape means to us that, that you can see more of the pitch. So a key point and a, and a point that we use and tell to our players to help them understand this is to make sure that you can see both goals. This is specific, especially in the middle of the park, uh, because you're in an area where you're most likely going to be receiving with your, with your back towards goal. You're going to receive with pressure coming in from behind you. So having that ability to to be able to see both goals and to really open open up the game for you will then also give you a lot more opportunity to see different pictures and will hopefully enable you to and help you to play forward. Okay, another point and this for me is probably one of the biggest and most important points to, to really help players become much better at receiving and to really give them a yard to, or a couple of yards as they've made some space for themselves to, to then perform the next action after they've received. And this is disguise. So what does disguise mean? Disguise means, and the definition, the, how we define disguise, is small late movements. So as you're receiving the ball, maybe pretend that you're going to open up, then you take your touch forward or you take your touch, touch backwards. That might give you a little bit of space. And that movement before that looks like you're opening up will force the defender to move so it almost looks like you're opening up up until the last second where you take your touch and then you don't open up and you go the opposite the opposite way okay so doing this will then give you that yard and will help you help you play after and help you make a better action after you've, after you've received okay another point for us in, to, in helping you guys become better at receiving is movement so this will obviously depend on, on where you are on the pitch in terms of the type of movement and the timing of your movement, which is also really important. Uh, but movements, uh, especially for the forwards, might be double movements. So example, you might come short towards the ball before them running in behind. And the whole idea of this is, again, just to give yourself that space and that time to receive. So clever movement can, give, can move you away from a defender and give you a couple of yards to move into or give you a few seconds to then receive and then go and play and make that action. So that's that's a really important point. This obviously is different depending on where you play in terms of the type of movement, like, like I just said, uh, but also another really important. Okay, so last point today for improving your receiving skills is your first touch. So having a really good first touch means taking your first touch away from pressure. So this could be in any different direction. So before receiving the ball and as long as we've got our, our last few points correct in terms of our check-in, our body shape, our disguise, etc. Um, then it, that should help you then to take a, take a positive touch because you're essentially more aware of, of where the pressure is, where your players are um, and where the best, the best place to take your first touch is. So example, the player's coming in really tight you might have to take your touch left or right just to get it, get it away from him. The players may be holding off, you might be able to stop the ball and then maybe move it after that, okay? Taking you th okay guys, so we've just taken you through a series of, of top tips to help you improve your receiving skills. So we've talked about checking your shoulders, We've talked about your body shape, we've talked about disguise, we've talked about movement, and we just talked about a great first touch. So try and put them into practice. Hopefully they'll help you and stay tuned because later on this week we're going to have some examples of receiving practices that you guys can try at home.